for I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was, I was alone and you invited me in. I, was, I needed clothes and you gave me something to wear. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. I came to find Catholic social services um, through trying to get help for my children and myself. After my husband had left and I didn't know where to turn, um, I called everybody to try to get help and came to Catholic Counseling Service and haven't left. Hunger in our communities is largely hidden. You don't know if the senior who lives right next door to you has to choose between paying for medication or buying food. You don't know if that family sitting in the pew behind you on Sunday has to figure out how they're going to feed their family because the dad lost his job in a manufacturing plant that closed and now he's working at a job that doesn't pay as much. You don't know how many of those children on that school bus you pass every day aren't going to eat until they come back to school the next day. Well, with the food pantry, if I didn't have that, and that would mean my children would most likely be hungry most of the time. If I didn't have a source of being to feed my children, they would starve every day because I'm financially just able enough to pay the bills and get a little bit of food. And if it wasn't for the food pantry, they, they'd go hungry every day. So I thank God every day for it. If we hadn't have had the food pantry in Winston-Salem, we would have had to do without. These are the people who are coming to our food pantry every week because they need to feed their family, because they need to make sure that their children have the food that they need to do well in school and to be healthy. The seniors who come to us want healthy food and they don't want to have to worry about buying food or paying for their medications. And those families who are worried about feeding their children, if we can give them some food, that's one thing, the less thing that they have to worry about. So your support of our food pantry makes a great deal of difference to all of those people who come to us every week. Those people that you might know, and yet you don't know that they're hungry. I wouldn't want anybody that sees this video to have to be in line with us. And by the grace of God, we have hope in our neighborhoods. Catholic Social Services provides services to children and youth and their families. Our teen parent program supports teen parents and their babies. We encourage these young parents to stay in school so they graduate. And the program has been very successful in this. My encounter with Catholic Services was about five years ago um, when I got the news that my daughter Sierra was expecting. Um, and so from that, we were um, led to Catholic Services from um, various resources that we came across and um, she began this program and the people sort of embraced her, um, began to not only um, help her individually, but also teach her as a, um, a teenage mother um, what who she is and who she can still become at that particular time. But hand to hand is everything that a teen parent needs. I was very young at the time, actually when I first started, so but after being in the program for a while, I kind of got used to it and everybody embraced me and let me know that everything was going to be okay and they helped me out as much as they could. Who knew you can like love somebody as much as you love your child? But you know it when you hold them for the first time. According to the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District, just under 60% of pregnant and parenting teens graduate from high school. Participants in the hand-to-hand -hand program last year graduated at 100%. Um, I finished school, which I'm very glad about because there was a lot of odds against me that I wouldn't finish high school. And I actually finished high school and college at the same time, so I'm glad I finished that. And I'm just recently returning from um, Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri. I'm actually in the National Guard. 
the joys of being a parent are when you work an eight-hour shift and you're stressed out and you come home to this little face and as soon as you walk in the door they come home and they're like mom I love you and they just run up to you and it's just a hug and it's the best feeling that you can ever imagine Catholic Social Services is the best program I I've ever been in ever heard of because without them a mother like me wouldn't be able to survive we wouldn't be able to get out on our own to help to be able to raise our child to be able to provide for our child without the help of them so without the, without Catholic Social Services my life wouldn't be the way it is now well, I really see my work with CSS as an extension of my faith I believe that we should give back we're all very blessed and St. James calls us to do works with our faith, that faith without works is dead. And I see my work with CSS as an opportunity to give that back. Christ calls us to perform corporal and spiritual acts of mercy and clothing the naked and feeding the hungry, comforting the sorrowful and counseling the doubtful. That is the work that CSS does on a daily basis. They do it all and a lot more. And, and I'm not really able to do that kind of work. I don't have the skills and I wouldn't be very effective at it. But I do have other talents and treasures that I can give back. And so it's just a no-brainer for me to support my faith and what Christ calls us to do through CSS. They're very effective at it and are able to, to portray Christ's work here with us. It was kind of essentially like my life kind of fell apart and um, I wasn't doing a very good job trying to cope with it. Um, and uh, I would talk to my family and I told them, you know, I needed to talk to someone. And that was really hard. I came to Catholic Social Services first because of counseling. I have been in therapy at different times in my life with a lot of things that have gone on in my life and I can honestly say that Catholic services has been a godsend. It's been a gift to me. Our relationship with Katie, the counselor for my children, she, I, I don't know how to say it. She, She's wonderful. She knows how to communicate to my kids. She knows how to communicate with me. She has taught, especially with myself, she has taught me to be a better parent, to be a better guidance to my children. As she explains it, my children are a ship in the middle of a storm, and I'm their anchor. And if they didn't have me, they would sink. And I, uh, sometimes I wonder if I wouldn't have come to Darlene and Catholic Social Services where I would be, and I don't think it would be a really good place. I think, um, I think I was enlightened and I've learned so much. I've learned so much about boundaries and about myself and about other people that um, that has definitely had a positive impact on my life. Then the just will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you alone and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? Then the king will apply. I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these people, you did for me.